Hello and a warm welcome to today's Sydney Direct. I'm Natalie MacDonald. My guest on today's show is Henry Jennings of BBY Limited and we're talking Medibank. Was it a good flotation? What was the government's positioning on this and what is the stock's true value? Henry, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us again today. Much appreciate it. Always a pleasure, Natalie. Thank you. So today we're going to be talking about Medibank. Now let's first go through the government's positioning on this. They took something that was publicly owned and yep. made it private in yep. the process of going public. Really, what was there to gain through this? Well, I guess it frees up a lot of capital for the, uh, for the government. They raised nearly $5.8 billion out of the Medibank float. So it's, it's a great thing for them to free up that money. They can then use it for something else um, or just helping the budget bottom line, I guess. How would you characterize trading on this stock then? Um, well, the first few days it was pretty frantic. Um, we saw the stock peak out at around 2.22. Um, it was issued to institutions at 2.15 and to private investors to, at around $2. So it was a good result, I guess, from, from all perspectives. The government could not be accused of selling it too cheaply. They did get top dollar and they couldn't be accused either of selling it too expensively so the retail investors didn't have anything left because they had a, a nice sort of 8-9% uh, premium. So it was good all round. Was this much hyped IPO simply that in terms of pricing or, or do you think that it's traded at fair value? Well, fair value is hard to really gauge at the moment. We, we still, it's still very early days. I mean, the company's trading on a very, very high PE compared to its peers in the insurance sector. And it is a private health insurance company. It's not a, a healthcare company as such. So we're going to wait to see whether they can bring through the kind of uh, cost savings that they've been talking about and therefore the growth, because they're going to have to do that to really justify the 22, 23 PE that it's on at the moment. Investors are now in a position where they're able to sell off those shares under sort of normal trading processes. Are you anticipating a sell-off here? Well, they've been able to sell for a few days now, and we haven't really seen a great deal of, uh, of selling from, from retail guys. The problem is for them is they didn't get really enough shares. They were massively scaled back, and as a result, they really don't have enough to make it worthwhile. By the time they would have paid for their brokerage costs and various other things, it would have been uh, not such a great uh, deal for them. So you, at the moment, we haven't seen a huge amount of selling from retail guys. What we have seen, though, is Instos picking up the stock in the aftermarket and building up their holdings because it is, it is a $6 billion company and therefore it has to be part of their core holdings. Henry, thank you so much. Pleasure. Henry Jennings there of BBY Limited. Do stay tuned. I've got plenty more coming up for you. Until next time, it's goodbye.